Welcome to Joe at the Movies. The DCEU is dead. An era defined by mediocrity and mismanagement has come to an end. And yet, when it matters the absolute least, Aquaman in the Lost Kingdom comes in and delivers a genuinely fun superhero romp. The movie being a dead cat bounce actually benefits it. It's rare to see a lighthearted superhero movie like this not trying to sell you on the next dozen films. This isn't a first act. These simplistic characters aren't in the elementary stage of their development. It's entirely self-contained, which lets the movie be its true self, which is a stupid but fun action film. The action itself is pretty standard, but I enjoyed the camera work. It's very James Wan and gives the movie a distinct style. I don't know if it's because I saw the IMAX cut, but the shots looked more up close and personal than average for a superhero movie. I like it. It was immersive, especially when the movie was on dry land. Luckily, the majority of the movie is on dry land. It's sort of weird seeing as this is an Aquaman movie, but taking the titular hero out of his natural habitat provides the sci-fi nonsense with some much needed ground to stand on, pun not intended. Not to say that this is the creme de la creme of superhero movies, far from it. The humor sounded like the producers hired the least funny SNL writers to insert wannabe relevant jokes into the already completed script. This is especially noticeable in scenes between Momoa and Wilson, though I did get enjoyment out of their chemistry. Also, the first act is just a mess. It introduces too many things at once, so many things that it couldn't possibly keep up with it all throughout the runtime, and it doesn't. This does benefit the second and third act though, as there's a constant grab bag of plot lines the movie can pull from to complement a set piece. Most of the movie's overarching plot lines aren't developed or concluded in a meaningful way, but something is always happening. Characters are never just walking somewhere. There's always subtext that makes it more interesting, even if there's rarely substantial follow through. Aquaman 2 isn't a thinker, but it is fun. It feels more like a corny action film than a superhero movie, and if that's what you want, go for it. Thumbs up.